Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm gonna bring a solar panel, not just any ordinary panel, this is made by Sonner Power, that's what it is, the company's call. Now on this solar panel, you actually um, refill your batteries back up um, easily, especially if you have a boat, RV, this is perfect for those kind of conditions. And you can see it's pre-set up for four holes here, and this is for traveling, in case you're gonna put it on your boat, your sailboat or something, and it's not a permanent fixture, you can actually make it a permanent fixture if you want by screwing in a thicker um, um, screws in here, or maybe putting some um, some washers, you could actually fix this to a fixture. Now, if you guys can see, I'm gonna side, sideways, it's flexible. Uh, this is solar panel that's flexible. There's only one kind of input that they give you. Now, this light right here, when it starts charging, when it starts picking up some solar um, rays, it's gonna indicate different colors. And I'm gonna indicate them here. I'm gonna put a little chart what they belong, what they what they mean. Now, this solar panel is rated for 20 watts for outdoor grading, uh, waterproof, everything's well sealed. Uh, I noticed something that here, they put a lot of little um, of the silicone around it to make sure that it makes it waterproof. So let's take a look at the actual connection, if you guys can see. It's fixed. Um, um, there's nothing uh, a couple feet that they give you maybe about seven to ten feet of cable uh, Including in the bag um, They give you two additional cables of course and these are actually pretty good This is in case you have a battery that you connect to or you need to plug it in and power it up You could add the adapter in here you pretty much just marry these two together and then you you set up these two to the actual battery or if you want you could actually set these up into an external or internal connection too and you got your negative and positive in here and on top of that they give you uh, these are actually neat these are like the over rings that you put into the batteries that those that have to be fixed and of course they give you adapter for all three of them so these are the only three that i was able to get in here but I am buying a converter from a uh, from uh, W um, oh, 20 volts to uh, an AC connection, so I could connect external and internal batteries too. Because if you have those uh, traveling batteries, you could power this up with the actually really quick. So we're gonna see how fast they charge. I'm gonna try to put it to a test too. So let's take a look. So you're taking your Jeep out in the mountains, and you're riding all these cliffs. You're you're in the dirt roads and everything in the middle of nowhere and your car breaks down, what do you do next? Uh, first of all, if your battery is dead and you don't have anybody to give you any charge or anything like that, it's good to carry the solar panel for that reason. And we're gonna show you a little demonstration of how it's supposed to be set up. And I'm gonna, just to let you know, it's gonna take hours for it to charge and you need good direct light to, to charge it. But lucky enough, we have our Jeep here. We're gonna demo a battery setup how we set up the actual solar panels with a battery. Now this solar panel is great for RVs and car batteries, anything over 12 volts. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. But first of all, we're gonna test the battery, make sure it works and how much voltage we could get, all right? Per minute or per second. So first of all, we're gonna set it up and see what we can do. We're gonna set up the meter. We're gonna do a car test on it, all right? We put in 12 volts over 20, or it is because it's 15 volts, we have to do at least 20. All right, on the meter to set it up. Um, positive and negative connections are set up already, and you gotta find out which one's which, right? Make sure you do the right one. So we're gonna do a test on our on our battery, make sure our battery's working. And right now, we're getting, um, get about 12 right now. We're right about where it's supposed to be. Highly recommend you maybe connecting these separately, all right? One here separate all right and the other one the ground all right then we're gonna give it charge if you guys can see we're actually getting a power now and we're connected to it directly to a car battery this is how it turns out from green to red if you notice so we get a good charge on it so if you guys notice, I'm getting the actual red light now and we're charging it perfectly fine with the car battery. And this could be charged for any kind of solar batteries and anything over 12 volts easily. RVs is perfect. So you're sitting and waiting for the car to be charged. You can put this underneath. You got plenty of slack. You can put close the hood down, put, it, put the solar panel on top of the hood. And we're gonna do that right now and see how well it works. If you guys notice here, the, um, the cable, I got plenty of slack. I could throw this in the roof if I wanted to. Um, it's good if you buy the suction cups. 
and put it inside you could do that and you can put it sideways and this is bendable so you're you got plenty of flex room if you guys notice it's charging right now so it's red this gives the indication light and it's doing the charge but you know you're stranded in the middle of nowhere on your jeep off-roading this is a perfect option to have with you if in case your battery doesn't run it runs out and you need some sort of help in the middle of nowhere all you guys out there with your jeeps this is an accessory that's necessary needed to travel with always have it in handy uh if you're not gonna need it your partner might need it your friend might need it someone else might need it um uh, the only thing it's gonna take you a couple hours to charge or to get a get a head start or even to charge it up but it's a well worth it device to keep with you on long roads travels um especially if you're gonna go into a vast area where you're not familiar with the area you don't have somebody to give you a jump start um signals poor this is perfect option for rvs um, trailer homes um, this is perfect for solar panels uh, setups and of course off-road trucks jeeps that you have in your house you're going to mud you're going to the desert this is a perfect option and plenty of slack like i showed you plenty of slack um, we're picking up good signal right now the solar panels picking up pretty good it's it's nice and reflection uh, you could have this in the glass itself or out the horse if you're afraid of somebody stealing it and leaving it out in the road say you leave your car out in the parking lot you're you know you can put this indoor close it inside and keep it indoor so not a bad option so if you guys like what you guys see make sure you hit the like and subscribe i'm your host frank the tank and we're out